Kim Kardashian has constructed a multi-million dollar enterprise around her whole career, not to mention her love life, since her carefree naughties days as Paris Hilton's secretary. Girls aspire to look like her, and men aspire to be with her. As a result, there's been a seemingly never-ending influx of hunks vying for Kim K's DMs. But what are the reactions of those who dated her in the past? What was their experience? If you want to know more about these and all of the men she has dated in the past, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. Kardashian has been a tabloid mainstay since the release of the infamous sex video. As a result, her love life has been heavily scrutinized, with countless previous flings eager to tell on what it was like to get jiggy with Kimmy. Kardashian, on the other hand, remains her own woman, not minding what other people think of her. Kardashian was recently lauded by British feminist writer Julie Burchill, who stated in The Spectator that she represented a functioning matriarchy, where men come and go wearing the same baffled expression and the females have the final say. Even though it is popularly portrayed that Kim K has never relied on a guy to boost her reputation and fortune, she has been with many men in the past. So here's what all of Kim Kardashian's ex-boyfriends have to say about her. TJ Jackson stated that Kim Kardashian assisted him in coping with his trauma. Kim Kardashian and TJ Jackson, the King of Pop's nephew and the son of his brother Tito, reportedly had a relationship when they were younger. Because they were both raised in the spotlight, the two were naturally drawn to each other. Kardashian lost her virginity to Jackson when she was 14 years old, according to the book Kim. Um, who of all of your sisters lost their virginity first? <laughs> Probably me. But I was oh, really. I, was in a I thought you were going to say Courtney. At 16, Jackson was a little older. Indeed, Kardashian frequently spent time in Neverland and spent her 14th birthday there, as she admitted to People. So this alleged encounter may have happened at the birthday celebration. During an appearance on Sway's Universe, Jackson discussed his youthful romance with Kardashian. He revealed, Kim and I went to each other's proms. We dated for a couple years in high school. I still talk to the family now and then, though not too much because our schedules are pretty busy. He explained, Kim and I went to each other's proms. Uh, we dated for a couple years in high school and um, yeah. I dated Kim when my mother passed away, so I was quite close to the family when I was young. Damon Thomas referred to his ex-wife as reckless. Damon Thomas, Kim K's first spouse, was married to the celebrity for four years, from 2000 to 2004. According to the Thomas' interview with Vlad TV, he first saw Kardashian when she was a teen at Michael Jackson's Neverland Estate. It was young love, you know. He stated his feelings for the unknown beauty at the time. Kardashian has since expressed profound regret over her relationship with Thomas, whom she married in Vegas when she was 19 years old and he was 29. During an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she revealed that she was high on ecstasy when she said, I do, back in 2000. This did not sit well with Thomas. While he stated that he is glad of how far Kim Kardashian has gone, he finally called his ex-wife irresponsible for the statements. However, it appears that Thomas should not be so eager to criticize his ex. Kardashian also alleged that he mistreated her during their marriage. However, her ex-husband disputes this. It's just absolutely not true. Ray J stated that he and Kardashian intended to produce a sex tape. Kim Kardashian dated Ray J from 2003 to 2006, and he is the man behind the infamous sex tape that catapulted her to fame. Ray reminisced on the couple's relationship with Vlad TV in 2009, adding that he felt obligated to highlight his love and respect for his ex. Let me say that beyond the love, I felt like she had star quality, he started, and I had the impression that she had the potential to grow rather large. Kim has earned my respect. Despite these protestations of love and respect, Ray chose to reveal intimate information about the Kardashian to the sun, stating that she would apply her makeup in the middle of a sex session and spent tens of thousands of dollars on provocative lingerie. Kim K, according to Nick Cannon, crushed his heart. Nick Cannon dated Kim Kardashian about 2006 before marrying Mariah Carey. Since their split, Cannon has been open about his relationship with the reality TV star. His song, My Side of the Story, 
shed some light on their relationship. We were getting pretty serious back then, he said, recalling how the lovers were torn apart when he learned about the Ray J sex tape from the man himself. Cannon alleged that Kardashian denied the existence of the tape on many occasions, causing trust concerns. Nick Lachey claimed Kim used him. Nick Lachey, a boy bander turned TV celebrity, dated Kim Kardashian shortly after his divorce from Jessica Simpson. Lachey, on the other hand, has nothing but shady retorts when spilling the beans about his fling with Kimmy. In a 2013 review, he alleged that Kardashian summoned the paparazzi during their 2006 movie date. Let's just say we went to the movies. No one followed us there. Somehow, mysteriously, when we left, 30 photographers were waiting outside, he said. In her book, Kardashian Confidential, she stated that the paparazzi will undoubtedly turn up to their date since they were curious about Lachey's new love partner. Despite Kardashian's account, Lachey has been relentless in the criticism of his ex. Lachey indicated that Kim K exploited him for self-promotion. Bow Wow stated that he needed to keep his Kim K affair a secret. Bow Wow spilled the beans on his relationship with Kim Kardashian during an appearance on Hollywood Unlocked. He confessed that he dated Kim K just before she met football player Reggie Bush in 2007. He called his former lover super dope, however, he stated that he felt compelled to keep the affair private because he had never dated someone outside of his race before. In an interview with Vlad TV, he stressed that he and Kardashian were not in a serious relationship. Reggie Bush is a massive fan of the Kim Kardashian Everett. According to E!, Kim Kardashian began dating football player Reggie Bush in spring of 2007. In a joint interview with GQ, Bush revealed that he first saw Kardashian at the Epsi Awards and was captivated by the seductive brunette. Because Kardashian's relationship with Bush coincided with the release of her sex video with Ray J, the couple was unavoidably scrutinized by the media. Despite the bad publicity and rumors that followed, Bush told GQ that he did not criticize his then-girlfriend. Chris Humphreys has denied accusations that his marriage was a forgery. According to the Washington Post, basketball player Chris Humphreys married Kim Kardashian in a highly publicized wedding in 2011. The wedding received so much attention that suspicions circulated that the couple's relationship was a ruse arranged by the Kardashians. The Hollywood Reporter documented how the marriage, which lasted all but 72 days, was most likely a forgery, including the staggering $1.5 million given to the newlyweds by people for wedding photos. To me, it was real, Humphreys told Access in 2012. Meanwhile, when I asked if he was still in love with his ex-wife, he smiled and said he was focused on what I can control. Kim received NSFW tunes from The Game. Kim Kardashian has a thing with rappers, there's no denying it. The Game is yet another man in her rap rendezvous repertoire. Game acknowledged briefly dating Kardashian in a 2014 interview with BBC Radio. The rapper said on Wendy Williams that he slept with both Kim and her sister Chloe. When Williams probed him on his alleged lustful meeting with Kimmy, Game chose to remain a gentleman. I will tell you this. Kanye is a really good friend of mine, and they've got beautiful kids, and I don't want to disrespect their family," he explained. While he was hesitant to discuss his late-night activities with Kim K on William's family-friendly show, Game did give the dirt, via the famous diss tune. He has dedicated not one, but two tunes to slamming his ex-girlfriend. According to Refinery29, he initially mentioned their affair in the lyrics of Sauce, which he raps about <clears throat> romancing three Kardashians. In 2019, TMZ said that he previewed a new song and rekindled his hatred for Kim. Kanye West launched an attack on Kim. Kanye West was frequently effusive about Kim, whom he married in 2014. You mean to tell me that this lady with this effing figure and this face is also into fashion and she's a great person and she has her own money and that she values her family? That is as amazing as a combat plane or a dinosaur.
According to ITV, the pair split in 2021 amid West's growing association with the American right, in contrast to Kardashian's leftist ideals. In a desperate attempt to rescue his marriage, he begged Kardashian to run right back to me at a benefit event, according to E. West, on the other hand, has been merciless in the takedowns of his ex since these futile attempts. West unleashed a violent attack against his former and her lover Pete Davidson in a series of now-deleted Instagram postings. According to Us Weekly, he stated in one post that the reality star is unsuitable mother for allowing daughter North to have a TikTok account. Following that, he declared his eternal love for Kardashian, writing Kim Ye forever on Instagram, followed by a broken heart emoji. Davidson blasted Ye's actions and supported his lady love, whom he termed literally the best mother I've ever met. What are your thoughts on today's video? Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you get an update whenever we upload any video. Thank you.